Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Yash and today I will teach you how to create collection view and site table view cell with images. I already made a video of basic implementation. If you have not watched it already, I highly recommend you watch it. For this project, so basically the difference between this project and the basic implementation is that we will also need custom class file for collection view cell and so this is what we will be creating and I love blur view so I will use it uh, so let's get started I have already created project with one of the longest name it says collection view inside table view cell with images that's my project name I like to be descriptive so first of all I'll drag and drop image assets so here are a bunch of animals and I got it from flat icons so I really like that website so you can just go there and download or you can get it from my project file as well I'll grab a wallpaper so drag and drop here and I'll rename all this stuff so wallpaper will be wallpaper and this will go from one to the reason I'm naming them uh, integers is because I have already created a helper function which randomly generates 2d array of integers so I copied it from my test project and I'm just pasting it here uh, and yeah one more thing bigger fonts yep so this is the helper function it uh, basically generates a, a random 2d array so it's an array of arrays of integers so that's how it works so let's get started under main dot storyboard uh, I will first drag and drop a uh, image view image view and this will go full screen so just drag it all the way till down and give constraints zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom uh, you can just hit tab instead of like clicking each cell so that's a cool handy trick now I'll also drag and drop a table view so and table view, table view will go from like don't go all the way just here it will automatically click and drag it all the way down and this will be again zero 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 and zero and hit enter so we already had image view now we have table view uh, here just say one prototype cell and click here and go here and uh, we'll give it a custom height of 100 and this table view cell uh, give it a reusable identifier as T cell this means that it's table view cell and now we need a blur view so blur view uh, just drag and drop here in between decrease the size so that it fits inside and go back to constraints here I will say 5 5 5 5 and not constraints to margin so it will occupy the whole thing uh, now uh, okay let's so first uh, let's set a property for uh, blur view so click on this identity inspector and under here just say add key path will be corner radius it will be camel case so and type will be number and value will be 20 so we are done there now we need a collection view so collection view again drag and drop over here make sure it fits in between and now we will give constraints so this will go all the way so 0 0 0 and 0 and that's cool now uh, okay so for collection view properties uh, we will select here and cell width will be 64 64 sex, uh, section in sets will be top 5 bottom 5 left 5 and right 5 so we need spacing between our two cells so it looks much better um, and uh, now we need to finally drag and drop uh, image view inside our this cell so this will be a custom class basically so make it really small and fit in inside the cell and now give constraints so this will be zero 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 
and add for constraint okay so our collection view cell will be named c cell so c cell and a bunch of things uh, for collection view scroll direction will be horizontal show i don't like indicators so i'll just take them off of both table view and collection view so i got rid of indicators uh, now let's make it like transparent so table view will lose its background color as well so this will be clear and t cell will also lose its background color and this will be clear color so that we can see and now we have the visual effect so it should work fine and for collection view we will also make it clear color so that it's completely transparent now we need two more files so let's create new file this will be of type cocoa touch class and this will be custom so custom ta oh sorry so custom table view cell and it will be a subclass of ui table view cell and hit next and just create and we need one more file which will be subclass of ui collection view cell and first start typing here so ui collection view and just hit cell and shift tab and just add custom here and hit next save bam now we need to assign these files to uh, particular cells so select this t cell and go to uh, identity inspector and here start typing c and just hit enter and go back to c cell and we need to do the same thing custom enter uh, so I guess we are done with all the properties and all the storyboard part. Let's just link the stuff and get going. So first we will link the table view and here is the table view. Just control drag and just say table view. Now I'll select, okay, automatic won't work. I don't know why, but manual. And here I will select table view cell and get rid of all this stuff we don't need in table view cell. And now I will just select these, uh, collection view or we don't need collection view and just say collection and last thing we need to do is collection view cell and we will link this image view and okay so I'll just click and drag here and this will be image view cool so we are done with the connections part so let's start coding Go back to standard editor, shift click and drag on top of view controller. Go hop over to view controller and I have this helper function again. Uh, so this function generates a 2D array. Uh, first, let's go to custom collection view cell and here we need to create a method. So set collection view delegate and I will be using generics so D collection view delegate and UI collection view data source and open close parentheses here say delegate and this will be D comma for row row int and open close parentheses here we will just say collection view okay oh oh wrong place uh, we need to write this function inside so just cut this and so this is custom collection view file uh, we need to do this in table view so I'll just paste it here and here we will say collection view dot delegate is equal to self collection view dot data source is equal to self and collection view dot tag is equal to row and we just need to reload this collection view so reload data so uh, just hit command save and okay it's it should not be self it should be delegate and delegate again cool save and we don't need to do anything in custom collection view cell file so just save it again and uh, all uh, from now on we will be working on this view controller file only first of all view controller will uh, confirm to protocol table view ui table view 
delegate and UI table view data source and under view to load so first let's create a data model so let data model is equal to generate so this is my uh, helper function and here I will say 20 rows and items in each row will be 15 so now under view to load say table view dot delegate is equal to self and table view dot data source is equal to self now we need uh, basic methods for table view so which are number of sections and just return one here and number of rows number of rows in section and this will be return data model dot count and we need cell for row at index path and this will be just uh, let's create a cell let's cell equal to table view dot dq re reusable identifier with identifier for index path and identifier will be t cell and index path will be just index path and just return this cell we need two more extra methods for this to work so unexpected okay this is will display cell we don't need just copy this part and get rid of this so cell for row at index path and now go uh, just paste it now we need two more extra methods so extra methods and first is will display cell and here uh, we will say let table view cell equal to cell dot okay cell as question mark and this will be custom table view cell so this is our class file and here we will say table view cell dot set collection view delegate and first will be self and for row will be index path dot row and that's it we are just setting it over here and this if so this will be if lit so optional binding that's what we are doing here and now it should work okay uh, this error is because uh, we are still not confirmed to collection view protocols so we will just do it okay cool so this seems done and one more function we need is height because uh, we are giving it a custom height so height for row and just return 100 okay so now we will extend our view controller this same file and confirm to collection view protocols so extension this will be view controller double colons collection view delegate and collection view data source open close brackets and UI collection view data source has two import uh, two required methods I'll just copy them because I always mess with them so I forget them just go back and paste it here get rid of extra stuff and open parentheses open parentheses and just hit enter and here we will say so this is number of sections and we'll just say return data model collection view dot tag dot count and here we will create a cell so let so if let cell equal to this will be collection view dot dq with uh, uh, dq reusable cell with reuse identifier for index path and identifier is c cell and index path will be just index path and this we will downcast it as custom collection view cell open close parentheses first we need to assign the image so cell dot image view dot image and we need to fetch the name first so let image name equal to data model collection view dot tag and one more for uh, because it's 2d array so row and image will be ui image and this will be named 
string open close and here we will do string interpolation just pass in image name and dot png now we need to make uh, this round so we will say cell dot layer dot corner radius is equal to cell dot bounce dot height divide by 2.0 and just return the cell and for here just say return UI collection view cell and open close parentheses and I guess we are good to go so let's run the application for one time and see how it works so it is giving me some error this is equal to I need to make it divide by let's run it and it's loading so this is my previous application and this is what we created okay the reason I am getting this should be so I have still not assigned image to my image view so just click image view hop over to here and this will be wallpaper and hit enter and few a uh, few more stuff table view I don't like separators so none and uh, one more thing under view controller after view did load say prefer status bar style and here just return type return and hit dot you will get two options and choose light content and run the application so this should be our final application I really like the UI and this is what we created this are the images uh, it all depends on your data set so you can ha uh, you can like hard code your data set or y you might get like data set from server or something but this is randomly generated data set and these are the images so it's pretty straightforward from now uh, from here on like you can have labels and everything in the custom cell so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time